Let's do our weekly check-in in the third week of December so you can see what life is like on a carnivorous plant farm in winter. Now that we're getting into late December, you can see dormancy has really hit the Saracenia. And while there's pockets of ones that look nice, a few nice Leucophila or minor, and of course the Purpurea still look really lovely, by and large, dormancy is set in. Now remember we're in zone nine and you can apply that to your zone. That way you can kind of get a feel for what's normal in your area. It's been a cold winter during the day, but our lows have not been lower than the high 30s, but we'll see more coming. And this is what our plants look like. Like the Saracenia, the fly traps are really going quite dormant, meaning that a lot of their summer traps have died back. And you mainly are seeing a lot of these died back black traps on the tops of the pots, sometimes no traps at all. But of course, if you were to gently remove these, there's some low lying rosettes of traps underneath. I wanted to touch on the temperate Drosera like Bonata or Dichotoma because as you can see, all of these have died back. There's of course still some growth in here, like you can see right here. But by and large, if you have a pot of these at home, especially a young one, you're gonna see like nothing at the soil surface. Like when I pull this back, look at that. There's very little to indicate that there's anything alive in this pot. And that really freaks people out. That is a tough part of dormancy. You have to have faith in your plants. And with Bonata and Dicotoma, these plants have thick black roots in the soil that they will regrow from in the spring. And you're likely not gonna see anything on the soil surface like the other temperate Drosera that have hibernacula to indicate that there is something in there. The Darlingtonia largely look really good still. You can see some of their tongues are turning brown. They're getting some spots. Well, that's normal, but they are actually dormant, meaning they're not growing new pictures or new flowers. And this is how they're gonna look until much later when they'll start to brown. You'll see us talking about the tuber sundews all winter because they're really fun to grow. And you can see this guy right here, Zigzagia, has this cheerful yellow flower. Most of these guys have white flowers, but even some have pink, but yellow flowered, very cheerful plant. And you can see one of our favorite things to do is take pictures of them as the light hits them because you can see just how extra dewy they are. You can see this Morinensis by Lauiana Calcarn Red is really starting to transition. And this is such a great example. Look how big this thing is when it's in its carnivorous growth. But these are the succulent leaves. It's gonna be so small. So I thought, let's track this plant as it switches over. And we can see that huge change in growth over these weekly progress reports. And also don't forget, they do love to flower when they're in succulent mode. I thought we'd end today with this Truncata by Low Eye picture, which is just ridiculously big. Just to remind you that Nepenthes don't need winter dormancy, and they can be really fun to grow through this period of time when all of the temperates die back. All right, post your questions and comments below.